when collecting waste oil, sometimes it comes in five gallon containers, and sometimes it's easiest to process it in the five gallon containers. As you can see on the far right, uh, the containers are fairly dark, amber colored. If we were to pour that oil out, you would be able to see through it. These other four containers have uh, a kind of creamy white stuff at the bottom with some amber floating on the top. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer the amber to the amber containers because that's what we can use for blending diesel fuel. The white stuff will not blend with diesel fuel, so or uh, any petroleum distillate won't patrol, uh, won't blend with gasoline, so we can't use it for blending. But we can concentrate all the <clears throat> all the uh, creamy, heavy, creamy uh, stuff uh, into one container, and then process it into biodiesel. Once it's been turned into biodiesel, then we'll be able to blend it with petroleum distillates and uh, blend it in with a batch of fuel. Uh, the white creamy stuff is a combination of animal fat uh, um, hydro and hydrogenated oils and maybe some uh, palm kernel oil. And the uh, hydrogenated oils and animal fat will not blend with petroleum distillates. So we're gonna separate the two out. The other thing is, is the white stuff solidifies at uh, near room temperature, whereas the amber colored clear, relatively clear liquid will remain liquid down to about freezing. And then if we add gasoline to it, it'll keep it liquid down to about uh, zero Fahrenheit, which is minus 18 C. When I first get waste oil from a restaurant that uses cooking margarine, it looks creamy like this. This oil has been settling for about a week so that the creamy component is settled pretty well to the bottom of the container and we have the amber liquid floating at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully pour the amber liquid off the top into the container and attempt to avoid pouring the creamy liquid at the bottom. And what I'm going to do, the best way to, to see what's going on is to allow the light to pass through the oil so that you can, it'll illuminate the oil better so we can see what's going on. So I'm now carefully pouring the liquid off the top. As you can see, it's a, a clear amber color and I'm pouring very slowly to keep the creamy white and I'm just starting to see the creamy white now coming through so I'm going to stop. And as you can see I got most of the amber oil off the top. I've now got three containers that are mostly the creamy uh, hydrogenated oils at the bottom of the containers. I'm going to combine them into one and let them settle for about a week and all these small lines of amber oil will rise to the top and combine and there will be enough for me to pour off the top into my uh, amber oil containers that I'm going to turn into diesel. It's very useful to have some basic tools for handling small quantities of waste oil like five gallon containers. So I bought a large funnel uh, at an auto parts store that's used for fuel. And I use that in the, uh, to pour oil into the container without making a mess. I also put a drip pan on the bottom. And what I'm going to do at the uh, thrift stores, I uh, stop in periodically and I uh, keep my eyes open for strainers that I can use. So this is uh, the coarsest strainer that I think is worth using, and this will get the big chunks out, like the french fries and the burritos. The next size will take care of the peas and the carrots, and the next size is for smaller food particles. And then I use a basic screen, which is roughly the mesh of uh, bug screening. And I put the coarsest screen at the top in the innermost basket, and the finest screen at the bottom and the outside. 
and they all sit nicely on top of my funnel. And then I'm going to just pour through the coarsest screen to the finest screen, let it all drain into this container. And it's good to have everything leaning, uh, these things leaning against something uh, to keep the funnel from falling over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my partial containers of oil and I'm just going to pour the material in. So now I'm going to pour the creamy bottom component in waste oil. I'm going to pour them all together through screens and screen out whatever food particles I can screen out. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of food particles in this batch, which is good, but you can have some pretty large food particles collecting in these things. As you can see, there's some pretty nasty stuff that can accumulate in the bottom of these oil containers and you want to do your best to uh, screen that stuff out. So let's see how our screens did. Of course the screen got large corn chips and large food particles. The next size down got also a fair number of food particles. The next screen didn't get that much. It, it got a few, but not a whole lot. And then the uh, finers of the screens got a fair number of small food particles. So we did a pretty good job of cleaning up our waste oil. And this is just preliminary cleaning. There's a lot more cleaning that goes on. Mostly uh, just by adding gasoline, the particles will precipitate out and uh, the water will also precipitate out and then uh, and then we'll uh, uh, run it through a one micron filter and it'll be clean enough to burn in the engine without causing problems. After the waste oil has been screened or settled for about a week or two then separated from the thick layer and then screened it looks like this. It's amber colored, it's fairly clear and it's ready to be turning the diesel fuel. A simple way to clean the screens and funnel and containers is to put gasoline into, let's say, a container that you want to clean out. I just put gasoline into this vegetable oil container. It can handle the gasoline. And now I'm going to uh, pass it. I'm going to add it to the vegetable oil in this container uh, for to start the blending and settling process and I'm going to use the uh, dirty gasoline to uh, clean my funnels and screens and containers in the process. It took me two hours to make 10 gallons of waste oil blend diesel fuel uh, and it's now been sitting for 24 hours and the only thing I really need to do is just to uh, filter it. I recommend filtering it down to one uh, micron, but uh, after blending and settling for 24 hours, the fuel blend is, uh, tends to be so pure that uh, one could just uh, run it through some screens into the fuel tank and drive off. It can be that simple. After settling the uh, waste vegetable oil or waste oil blend diesel fuel uh, for 24 hours then uh, I recommend doing a little bit more screening than uh, than what I did yesterday and what I'm doing is I'm adding a painter's uh, screen onto the bottom of my finest screen and I'm going to just stack them all up again like I did yesterday and now we're going to run now we're going to run the blend through. And again, we want to be careful not to disturb 
the fuel because well, the contaminants will have precipitated out to the bottom of the container. And we'll keep our eyes open for any contaminants coming, uh, being poured out. So it's good to have good light on the fuel. Generally, it'll just be the last quart to half gallon or a liter or two liters that uh, will have contaminants in them. And I'll show you. So this is the bottom of our blending, five gallon blending container. And if you can see, it's pretty dark and sludgy down there. Uh, small food particles have accumulated. So let's see how we did with the filtering or screening the gasoline, the blend after uh, settling for 24 hours. We can see the big mesh screen has nothing in it. The next smallest screen has a few food particles not too bad and the next one down has a few smaller food particles and then our our finer screen has a few food particles and let's see what the paint filter cut ah, and the paint filter cut a few particles which is good that we caught them, but it's really not much compared to what we saw yesterday and compared to what's sitting at the bottom of the container now. So from 10 gallons of uh, waste oil blend diesel fuel, I had was uh, two quarts or half gallon or two liters of, uh, of sludge uh, from that simple extraction. And the rest of it is pure enough to run in the engine, if you don't filter down to one micron, then you'll probably go through more fuel filters, but uh, your fuel filters aren't going to uh, plug up too quickly using that simplified process of purifying your This is a sample of the uh, waste oil blend diesel fuel we made out of some, uh, some waste vegetable oil. And it's set for a day. and. Uh, it hasn't even been filtered down to one micron. It's only been passed through a few screens and settled uh, and separated uh, at three stages. And as you can see, the uh, at the bottom of the container, there is no sediment whatsoever. So we can say that uh, simplified filtering can work.